This is really famous, but uh, here's another picture. It's like a, a real woman standing next to like a, a tranny with like a similar kind of build to the one that is in this video and the anonymous poster comments. And this is a really great post. Uh, his vaguely thre thre threatening gesture and stance, the woman meekly clasping her hands together in fear, the difference in size between his massive skull and hers, the caveman tear slouch making him look like a hunchback versus her standing up straight, the remnants of what appear to be sideburns on the left side of his face versus the woman's clear cheeks, the intense expression on his face versus the bewildered expression in hers, the sheer, sheer difference in size between their torsos, his is probably double the size of hers. The masculine profile of his chin jutting out on his and his longer face versus her wider face. I could go on, but you get the idea. All is contrasted with the constant assertion that these people are identical to women and there is no meaningful difference between them makes for the most exquisite form of irony when their differences are juxtaposed so vividly. The contrast is divine. On the left, his man's hubris, his desire to capture the beauty of nature and make it his own, his cerebral and conscious understanding of what it means to be what he thinks he is, his intentional becoming, while on the right is nature, effortless being, no doctor's appointments or hormones or surgery, just an is that needs nothing added to it in order to be complete. He tries so hard, yet the harder he tries to become, the further he takes himself away from the effortless is that is the thing he wants to be. It's comedy on a cosmic scale, a joke only God himself could come up with. One of the best posts ever made on the internet. Um, I found out somehow on complete and total fucking accident that the person in that copy pasta I read responded to the copy pasta, and I'm just going to read it blind. Uh, this image of me has been going around on 4chan and other awful parts of the web with similar transphobic commentary. Over the past weeks, I've had turfs and trolls send it to me, and even some friendly folks who want me to be aware it exists. So I want to be clear... I realize this is an effort to shame my general appearance and invalidate my humanity, and I know that this may come as a shock to many of you, but I really love the way I look. I am genuinely confident in my own skin since coming out of the closet. I think I am quite gorgeous, and I know that the vast majority <clears throat> of folks probably don't find me particularly attractive. I guess that should offend me. But I am at peace with it. I think back to when I was in the closet and persisting as a conventionally attractive male and how consistently miserable I was. I would dress in nice suits with clean haircuts, look normal, and it made me feel constantly anxious and depressed. Sometimes I would avoid going to public events. I hated compliments on my male appearance. Truthfully, I hated the folks around me at um, who found me as an attractive male because I didn't feel attractive. I felt depressed and angry, and I so badly wanted to be present in, to the world how I felt internally. Every day that I've been able to walk around my door presenting as femme has been a gift. Every day has been worth the hatred flooding me online. You may look at that picture and see someone who makes you cringe in disbelief. I look at that picture and see happiness and survival. Happiness and survival. Ugh. Um, I have never been happier than I've been out of the closet and living my authentic self. It is truly the best thing in the world. I didn't know it was possible to be this happy. And in fact, a few months after coming out, it slowly dawned on me how unhappy and depressed I had been in the closet. I went all those years back. I went that time again. My only regret is not coming out sooner. Now, are there things I want to improve about my appearance? Sure, and that'll come with time. But if my choice was between what you see in the picture and being in the closet, I choose that beautiful woman every day without hesitation. I am proud of her. She survived. And here's my message specifically to those who invest quite a lot of energy into hating me and mocking it. I truly hope you feel this happy someday. <laughs> I wish that for you it's life-changing to feel comfortable in your own skin. I hope you find healing. Oof. That is AGP. That is just this guy just wants to wear women's clothes and when he's wearing women's clothes that's all that matters and nothing else matters nothing else matters except being able to wear women's clothes <laughs>